We're speaking with Susanna Hrnkova, who is head of Aircraft Interiors Marketing at Airbus. And what we're going to talk about today is the innovative A350 cabin. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. And what I'd like to start off with is the 350 cabin will re represent the latest in cabin design from Airbus. Can you tell us how this cabin design will differ from other recent Airbus designs? So first of all, our design, uh, design target for A350XWB was uh, to uh, offer unprecedented comfort for passengers uh, and passenger experience and in the same time optimize the revenue potential for airlines and allow the airlines to be adaptable to market changes. So we have follow up the, uh, the design, Airbus design philosophy to offer comfort and to think about airline operations. However, we have some elements which are unique on A350. Uh, for example, uh, integrated seamless design with uh, movable overhead storage compartments uh, and we have improved uh, uh, storage capability of A350 by roughly 30% comparing to current in-service aircraft. As well as uh, we, um, we will uh, use the full LED lighting on A350 with the color lighting scenarios and integrated uh, lighting control uh, in flight attendant panel as well as uh, we have a latest generation IFE uh, uh, for A350 and standard connectivity. So standard connectivity would be the SBB? Standard connectivity will be SBB, however uh, we are offering as well KU band and we are studying uh, KA band, the latest uh, generation KA band on A350. You mentioned um, the, the mood lighting. Um, was the sky interior from a a Boeing at all an influence? Uh, I don't think so. In fact, Boeing sky interior and even 787 had been inspired by mood lighting because Airbus was the first uh, uh, first manufacturer who introduced the mood lighting scenario already early 2000 with entry and service of A340, 500 and 600. They, so Airbus had the, the mood lighting first? Yes, we are the leader. And the, the way that you integrate your lighting will be all in one panel? Is that how it, how it works? So in fact, uh, the lighting control on all Airbus aircraft is integrated in what we call flight attendant panel. Uh, so it's an interface uh, uh, for cabin crew and through this interface, the cabin crew hostess is able to control all cabin system, including uh, cabin lighting or mood lighting scenario. For Boeing, uh, the mood lighting, uh, uh, mood lighting control uh, as well as some sky interior is uh, uh, is integrated in additional control panel. Okay, and so the integration has been done only on seven eight seven, and uh, it's inspired from Airbus philosophy. So tell me, when you, when you look at these um, evolving ideas that you're getting from the 350, how much of the ideas of the the cabin layout and the design? will we see going towards other Airbus models? So, uh, as Airbus was always uh, uh, use uh, the latest technology from latest product and uh, implement it to current in-service product, for example, full LED lighting uh, developed on A350 will be uh, integrated on other aircraft types. So, we are studying currently a different solution how to uh, integrate uh, uh, latest technology like a full LED lighting on all the aircraft types as well as uh, some components of uh, latest uh, fourth generation IFE. So, so would NEO for example see any benefits from this thinking? Uh, of course, yeah. And maybe uh, early uh, A320s, uh, the classic one. Mm -hmm. So we are working uh, on, uh, on uh, different solutions uh, based on latest technology used on A350 and to implement it uh, on, uh, on current how would, how would one explain or define the design philosophy, in cabin, the cabin design philosophy at Airbus? How is it different from anybody else, if at all? 
So I think what is really very typical for Airbus is this family approach. So uh, we, uh, we are trying to maintain a design language uh, as well as uh, interfaces for cabin crew, uh, for cabin system operations, common and harmonized across all families. Once we developed a new, uh, new uh, design language or we have a new technology available from latest, uh, latest product, we always apply it on, uh, uh, on in-service products. As well as our target is to uh, find out optimum balance between passenger comfort and uh, revenue, uh, revenue area uh, for airlines. Okay. The interesting thing, of course, is, is customizing of, of cabins. Every airline wants to make their airplane different. And, of course, the, 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 probably the biggest example of that was with the 380, which led to a lot of complications. Will the 350 cabin offer the same kind of customers, customization opportunities? So, for A350, our approach was to offer rationalized customization. So everything started with the enabling platform, so platform uh, when we install uh, all monuments. So now we have a standardized enabling platform and for all attachments, for galleries, lavatories, partitions, we are using standardized inter interfaces. As well as we have uh, um, follow up a new uh, way of working with uh, IFE and C2 pliers, so we have worked with them from the early design of the A350 in order uh, to develop uh, more integrated seats and IFE. So, for example, IFE and seat suppliers work together in order to, um, to uh, implement or integrate IFE system to the seats and increase the passenger comfort. Uh, so we have uh, reduced uh, seat electronic boxes um, and uh, uh, as we have worked with uh, several suppliers, uh, we have worked on same specifications. So all suppliers work on same specifications. And uh, uh, now we are avoiding uh, bad surprises on the integrations of uh, different seats or different monuments uh, to the platform. On the top of that, suppliers developed um, different uh, options for seat seats features, so the airlines will always have the opportunity to uh, customize their seat with a trim and finish with color and additional, uh, additional uh, uh, seat features. Right. So this is for economic class seats. For business class seats, we, uh, we have followed up the same, uh, same philosophy of working with uh, several suppliers. Of course, premium seat is uh, like a more important differentiator for, for the airlines. So we will have a catalog seats. So recently uh, we have enriched the catalog with a free additional uh, seat supplier and free additional seat models. And our first one was Soderma Solstice. Uh, and on the top of that, for the airlines looking for really, airlines like a trendsetter, airlines looking for very very important differentiation, more important branding, they will have the possibility to select a, a premium seat, first and business class seat, like BFE today. However, with a, one of suppliers which is already contracted with Airbus. So when you, when you say it's like a rationalization of platforms, how many choices do they have? Uh, they have still a lot of choices. It depends on what uh, we are talking about in terms of seats. Uh, right, I mean in terms of customizing the cabin. Cus so. Customize the cabin. Now the airline is looking for soft customization. Uh, in fact, uh, what uh, airline are looking for is to have uh, the airplane with a good residual value mm -hmm. over the uh, life of the aircraft and to be adaptable to market changes. So they will be, uh, uh, we, we have a large choice of, uh, uh, of seat suppliers. And uh, there is still a lot of uh, different combinations and potential to, uh, to differentiate and brand the cabin. And on the top of that, uh, with the mood lighting, which is uh, standard, color lighting is standard, 
uh, the airlines we had the opportunity to really brand their cabin uh, with their own uh, scenarios uh, according to different uh, uh, flight phase. Okay, last question. The 350 is going to be a long haul airplane. How is the cabin design focusing on the fact that this is really a long haul airplane? So once again, our focus was done on passenger and the airline and crew. So I would like to start with, uh, with the crew's facilities. Long haul aircraft need to have an area where crew uh, can have a rest during a long haul flight. As you know that the, the long haul flight is operating by two, uh, two crew. Two, two, Separate. Separate. So on A350, uh, the uh, space and system allocation for the crew rest facilities will be standard. So whatever all A350s are uh, out of production line, we have the capability to, to have installed or remove the crew rest uh, in, uh, in the life of the aircraft. So this is very, very important uh, because once the operator is uh, flying with uh, A350 or shorter sectors without, uh, uh, without needs of crew rest facilities and during uh, uh, life of the aircraft uh, uh, the operator will change or uh, open the new route with uh, needs for, for crew rest uh, this is possible to install it in one of uh, maintenance check. Mm -hmm. uh, we have designed as well a um, working area for crew uh, galley area uh, in a way to make it uh, more user friendly. Uh, crew rest location for pilots is just behind the cockpit, so very close to the working area for pilots, and cabin crew is located uh, at the door four, so in the rear part of the cabin, uh, very close to the uh, main working uh, environment of cabin crew. So this is from uh, from, uh, from airline side. And of course, we have designed uh, the cabin to uh, really optimize the comfort and experience of passenger in a way to offer larger seat in standard economic configuration, nine abreast, comparing with uh, our competitor, we are offering one inch wider seat for passenger. Um, On a 12 hour flight, that one inch is going to be a big thing. Sorry? On the 12 hour flight, that yes. one inch will be a big thing. Yeah. We will test it, it a later one in the mock up. Um, we have uh, designed the interior and the cross section in a way to have a more vertical sidewall panels. We have enlarged the window uh, in order to, uh, uh, to allow good balance between window height and window width. And on the top of that, uh, with our right design, we can integrate mechanical window shade for passenger. And of course, we have an optional electromechanical uh, window shade uh, for premium class. So, what does it mean? Uh, you know that our our competitor uh, talk a lot of about uh, electromechanical window shades. But the, this window shade is working like very strong sunglasses, mm -hmm. and uh, taking time to shadow the window, which means that with mechanical solution, the passenger can control mm -hmm. the window shades very easily uh, on demand, and uh, uh, we can achieve a complete darkness in the cabin, which is important for uh, very long haul flights with the time differences. Thank you very much. Welcome.